Hello there and welcome to another video. In this video I wanted to talk to you about the Quacktech fluid pipes and how to help the kick the pressure and move the items, move the liquids around more easily and show some useful tricks to do. But to tell the truth, after testing by a while, because this is Quacktech 5U made by Bloody, things are different from the what I, I remember. So firstly, there is two ways to detect liquid into the pipe. You can either use a fluid detector or a tilt detector. But for obvious reason, the fluid one is actually better than the activity. If you place more water here, you see that the water goes to the pipe and the detectors light up. And as you see, some lights are still light up here. That's one thing that happened with crack tech pipes that people don't like. These are not lighting up because this is an activity and the amount of food inside it is not enough to actually activate it. So that's why I told you that the fluid is better. And as you see, the liquid is sloshing here and slowly but surely at one time you're gonna get the entire cell here, like this. This happens mostly because the code, I suppose, because I did not look directly. The wide of the pipe tells a lot of how, of how much it works. If you take the food capacity of a pipe and d divide it by half, that is the amount of food it will transfer at once. In the past, the pipe would only transfer the fluid when it got full or was inactive for enough tickets. But as I just show you, it's now super fast, so that might be the case, that might not, not be the case. Here we have the same setup as here, but with tiny pipes instead of, instead of bronze pipes. As you see, it only has a lot less on six of the capacity. So don't you it, 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 it can't, it can't transfer the liquid as fast. As you can see, it is going, going. And you see the liquid slowly reaching here. On the past, this pipe in that you can hold 14 will need to fill up. Then it you're gonna dump half of it, of it into this one here. And this one here with we wait, we, we wait for an, another charge of this one, or an Arctic has passed and dump half of it here, and again, 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 again. That's why it receives so much little fluid at the beginning. You see? 6, 20, 70, 100. It never actually gets to the maximum amount it can. And we, we have this loss come back and forth. That is not good. You don't want that into your system. What you can do is use shutters. If you place a shutter into a pipe, like here, and wrench it to, to or screw it to, like, only output, so the liquid will only go in, it will only go out of the pipe, but not back in. If you do the same thing right now, should we should see that it goes and it's arriving here a lot faster than before because when it got to this point here, it cannot go back. If I place it another one right here and do the same, now it's gonna be a lot faster than before. Because once it, it passed the, the shutters, it cannot go back. Still have a little slosh here, but it's faster than before. But that's not, that's not the only thing you can do. You can actually place electric pumps on it. What the pump is going to do, it's, it will, as the tooltip show, 
try to move that much of liquid from one pipe to the, to the next one and we will also block it. So it works like a, a little go, go faster and also a little don't come back. If you place a pump right here and the default of it, it is export and another one here and here. Now this setup is going to go a lot faster. And it's finished up. This pipe don't, don't hold much liquid, so the pump will always empty it into the next one, next one, next one, next one. But since you saw, this setup is pretty fast, so you don't need to be like that. The transfer rate of the liquid by itself is pretty good, actually. The only thing is here is that I'm not, not injecting any more liquid, so it has this empty state here at some times. So if you place a shutter to block the flow back into the middle of it, it should help you to lick it smoothly around. If you go if you want it to go even faster, you can place pumps here and they will help you moving even faster. But we also have a problem when you're gonna use it to power machines that it was a full, it's like we have here four basic digital generators. If a toss here, and you see these are a bronze food pipe, so it can transfer more than a cell at a ch at time. If I dump one diesel cell here, most are gonna go to the first one, a little go to the second one, a little even less to the third one, and just a small amount go to the, the last one. This is kind of okay, but uh, that is not very useful, is it? Because those are gonna be stopping, stop first, and then this one, this one, and this one gonna run for a, a good amount of time. So for these ones here to receive more fuel, it would wait this to get completely full before moving down. And that's not good, not good. We can do something here. Let's first break those out, and we can use the fluid regulators here. They are somewhat cheap to make, just a, a pump here and two circuits making a food regulator. Now, if I place it on the pipe, it's gonna allow as a limiter to the amount of fluid it's gonna output. Now, can, if, I, if I screw it here, it's gonna go up by 16. Or I can just with my hand, and you're gonna see that it says one, one liter by taking 20 by second. So let's increase each one to this amount. Now let's place more diesel generators here. Wait for them for the flooding to update it now. If I drop it one cell here, You see, everything is working. Almost everything is receiving the same amount of fluid, almost because of this lotion. Some are going to receive more, some will receive less, but the, each one of them is starting working at the same time and not the, at different times. And, and probably they mostly will stop at the same time. Here we have the biggest example of it. Here we have uh, one large boiler. It produces a ton of steam, and here we have uh, four basic steam generators. If I place here some coal, it's going to start producing, and then This one is filling up. There's nothing, nothing, nothing. Now this one is filling up. 
Oh, there's one here. Then go to, to this one, to this one. Then this one here. And this is up. It is going to be to the, 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 this one here. And oh my. Look at how much steam we have he, he accumulated before it finally going to, after a very long time, actually starting filling the last one. This is not very effective, is it? Of course not. But what we can do? We can actually do the same thing I just showed you with the digital generators. Please place some regulators on it and it's gonna be fixed. However, basic steam generators have a little big problem. They consume a lot of steam. As you see, 1600 steam per second. And the basic food regulator is just 60. 600. You need to get an MEV at least to this amount here. We can either place the regulator into the output hatch here, like I have here, or we can place it into the basic steam turbine on the back here, but different from the output. This is going to need to be negative. This one is positive, so positive is, is from, from the thing that, that comes from behind the cover. Positive. Negative are things that come to the cover. So now let's just change it quickly to survival. Pick it up the steam turbine with the regulator. Go back to creative, of course. Break everything here and replace with the, with the new, new steam turbine. And now I have the same thing as before. But now when I place the fuel here, wait a little bit to, to, to start. However, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not able to make it work here with the, with the regulators into the steam turbine. I believe it's because the steam turbine require power to power the regulator. So let's let's do the other way and use the output hatch. Our, our output hatch with the regulators are placed on. Now just place the steam turbines. Now let's try this again. Place few here. And running still takes time for it to actually fill up. But this is running as well. As well. It's running as well. This is. This is. This is. And this is as well. So everything now is running perfectly and did not, not take as much time as before. One of the applications of this is to be to use with the other types of storage, like aircraft tanks, that they, until they they full they feel completely warm, steam to bind, it takes a long time to move not on, not on, not on, just as I showed before. This way it's a little quicker. So we are producing power not 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 faster or more, but it, it takes less time to get to the maximum capacity of power. As you see, it's the power here is going up and it's just in low voltage one. <laughs> and here for the to finish this up in the past, as I said. The pipe only would only transfer the amount of food it have if it was full or a knock time a idle. So if I use it, use it, uh, if I use a uh, food regulator from industrial craft 
and place a very small amount of fluid on it, it will not transfer the fluid to the other ones. But this has been fixed into this version of crack tech. As you see, one millibucket, I place water here, and this is a huge pipe. But as you can see, the fluid are going here very well normally. So this was fixed. Well then, most of the regulators people know about the because of the large steam turbines and high pressure steam turbines. Those require uh, optimal flow, and for those require the regulator. But you can use regulator for anything that it actually uses liquid or gases to make it run suboptimal. So it, 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 it will left something for the other machines to work instead of waiting until it is completely full to move it to fill another one. This is Ungrad. I hope, I hope you, you got something good for it and thanks for watching.